Hey guys and welcome to this tip. Now a lot of people have been asking me lately how do I set up Capture One into a Lightroom workflow. Now let me first explain why I use Capture One. Capture One is a great capture editing software package from Phase One. And let me put it this way, why should you use another raw developer than Lightroom? Because Lightroom is pretty good, right? Well look at it like this. If you give a chef the same ingredients and a steak and you give it to two different chefs, you will get two different sh uh, steaks, right? And they're the same ingredients, they're the same steak, because everybody prepares it a little bit different. Now, in the case of a raw developing software package, it's the same deal. You get the same image, but every raw developer will make it its own. It will give it a little bit of a twist, it will give it a little bit of a different color, more detail. And to be totally honest, I absolutely love Lightroom. But with raw developing, Capture One, there's no, no question about it, it's way better. Now, for my Sony files and other files, I often also use DxO, DxO Optics. But in this video, I will totally concentrate on Capture One because DxO has a pretty good integrated uh, workflow into, uh, into Lightroom. Sorry. So how do we set it up? Well, I decided to start from the beginning, making everything from step one. So the first thing you do is you have to make sure that Capture One is in session mode. Now, Capture One has an own catalog, but I don't like that. I always use it in sessions. So it will start up and it will say, do you want a new session? Well, in this case, yes. Create a new session. Where? Very simple. I do that on an SSD drive, external, and I will make a new folder called Capture One Tethered. There we go. Create. And choose. Okay, there we go. You press OK. And now you are actually starting up Capture One in session mode. Now you see a capture folder, and that's pretty nice because now if you shoot tethered, all the images will come in in the capture folder. But this is not how I'm going to use it because I want to do my raw developing with Capture One, right? So I'll just go to my drive with unfinished images, so the raw files. We call that unbewerkt, that's Dutch. And we go to the files that I want to work on. So let's go to Studio. And let's go, for example, to Christiana, August. All the files will come in. There we go. I will select the files I want to work on, like here. Let me say I want to work on this file, and I want to get this into, of course, Photoshop. So I will do my raw developing. If I need to change anything here, I will do it, like shadows or highlight, whatever you want. You can change it here. But in this case, I don't want it. And of course, you can give it its own personal look. Now, the looks in Capture One you find over here on the top. It's called Styles and Presets. Now, for example, I can say None, or I can go into my User Styles and go to any look that I want. So let's say I want it a little bit more rough, like this, bluish. And you can create those presets yourself. The nice thing about Capture One, because it's a raw developer, you can actually go back here and change all the settings if you don't like them. There we go. And of course you can even stack styles, but I won't go into this at this time because we're doing the integration with Lightroom. So how do I get this in Photoshop? Well, that's the first thing. You go here to the gear and you see all these recipes. In this case, Frank Tiff, Frank to Photoshop, Internet, Untitled Recipe. So let's select this one, Frank to Photoshop. Now, what does it do? It will create a TIFF file, 16 bits, non-compression, Pro Photo RGB, 300 pixels, fixed scale 100, and after this, open it with Adobe Photoshop. What's very important is where do I put the file? And this is in this little tab. I do it in the root folder of Bewerken Capture One, or in other words, Retouch for Capture One. If you're in doubt, press this little dial, and there we go. You can see where the folder is actually here. So it's on my SSD drive, Capture One, and you also see a folder final, but it will put it under root. So there we go. So now I'm done, right? So how do I go to Photoshop? Very simple. In Lightroom, you use Command E on a Mac to go to Photoshop. With Capture One, you use Command D. So now I press Command D, 
And what you will see here is it's processing my raw file. And it goes really fast. Now it opens up Photoshop. And I can do all the normal stuff I normally do. So let's say File, Close. And now how to get it into Lightroom. Because at this moment, if I remove Capture One, you will see that it's on my SSD drive. And it's actually in my Capture One folder where I put it. Webinar make fun. So how do I get this into Lightroom? Well, here comes the trick. You open up Lightroom. And there we go. And you go to that folder. And what you're now actually saying, you only have to do this the first time. You go to File, Import Photos. And you do Add. Very important. Use Add. Go to your drive and go to that folder. And you press Import. There we go. Now I have the file here. As soon as it's in Lightroom, you can find it here. Capture One, it's the same folder, right? And now when I want to drag it to the file folder where it's actually supposed to be, in my case, bewerkt, I can just grab my file and move it to the folder where I want it to be, like in this case, Christiana. Now, how do we do it after this? Very simple. Let's go back to Capture One because now we have set everything up, so now it should be easier, right? Okay, we take this file. Let's give it a look. User styles. Let's give this one black and white. There we go. Change the contrast just a little bit. Nice. Press Command D. It now opens Photoshop. And there we go. Do the normal retouching you normally do. Press Close. Go into Lightroom. The only thing you now have to do is go to this folder, which you made to yourself, press your right mouse button, and say Synchronize Folder. Again, make sure it says Add, and you import. And there you go. If you go back to that folder, you will see that both images are still there. You select both images, and you drag them to the folder where you want them to be stored for your final setup. Now, one thing that's very important, make sure that when you do this, in this area, the gear, always this recipe has to be selected, Frank to PS, to Photoshop, or your own name, of course. Because if this isn't selected, and for example, you select the TIFF, it will not open Photoshop, it will just run this recipe. If you, for example, select the internet, it will only run this recipe when you press Ctrl D. Oh, sorry, Command D. So make sure that you select the recipe you use. It will open up Photoshop. And later on, you can just sync it in Lightroom. So that's a very simple way to make Lightroom and Capture One talk together a little bit easier.